on it, and I didn't. Well, the whole thing was forgotten long ago. It's a closed book, Doctor. And that's exactly what I thought, too. But things have happened lately that I think you two should know about. My friends, be patient and allow me to tell you a story. We can. Although you already know part of the history. Are you watching that, Do you think you're a big kitty? Oh, big lions. That occasion years ago. Five, to be exact. When we held a convention on psychiatry in the city. I attended and gave a talk on the results of my studies related to the regression of a patient to a past life through the use of hypnosis. My theory was greeted with amazement and incredulity by the whole thing with a joke. Among others attending that day, were you, Dr. Esquire, the barber? And you, Dr. Eats, were you the theory of war? Dr. Crump, the evil John Roberts, made that subject of ridicule. And I left the convention bitter and defeated. Same as always, I got to the house feeling unsure of these ideas. I didn't squelch. But I just couldn't accept the other opinions of my theories. No. I was sure they could be proven. That night, Flora offered to undergo a hypnotic test. She was his phone by the little age for the experiment. Assisted by the father and by any of I hypnotized her. During her past life, Flora had lived among the great peoples of the Aztec. She told us some strange things. Amazing. Far back in those ancient years, her name had been Xochitl. She was deeply in love with a brave and high-born warrior called Popoca. They had a small to ask for hands to reason. So they decided to run away, even though it was her sacred duty to preserve her maidenhood and be sacrificed to the god de Capricopa, the god of the Catholic discovered by the tribal priests. Ooh. They prepared hearty soup to be brought off the source of other guests. So they truly do want to head to a hungry man. Is she watching? Yeah.